Okay, before we move, we move on to the comparison uh, blocks, uh, let me go ahead and discuss exercise six with, with you real quick. Uh, one of the exercises that you will be doing um, as your homework. So in this exercise, basically, uh, you are creating a system um, that will convert a binary number into a decimal number. So the binary number, as, as uh, I'm pretty sure all of you know, that binary, binary numbers are comprised of zeros and ones, uh, on and off, basically. A high or a high and low. So here's um, here are three switches, uh, and you used switches before. So we have three switches, and each switch represent a binary number. With switch C, is the leftmost bit of the binary number, what we call the uh, uh, most significant bit, and switch A is the rightmost bit of the binary number. Again, what we call the least significant bit and bit B is the middle uh, bit. So you have three numbers in binary operated by three switches. So if the switch is off, it is going to be zero. If the switch is on, it is going to be one. So you can go from zero, 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 all the way up to one, one, and one with the combination of these three switches. So you will have eight combinations of ones, zeros, and ones. Uh, zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one. 100, 101, 110, and 111. Total eight combinations. And how, how can you figure out how many combinations are there? Basically, whatever number, binary number, whatever uh, number of switches you have or number of bits you have, you just take two to, the, two to the power that. So if you have three bit number, that two to the power three, total eight combinations. Anyways, so your job is basically to convert this binary number into the decimal equivalent. Now, if you um, have taken digital systems class or you know any class in previously where it was discussed how to go from base two to base 10, this problem will be very easy for you. If you don't know how to go from base two to base 10, just do a little search online, uh, how to convert a binary number into decimal. It's gonna show you a simple formula as how to convert any binary number into a decimal number. Okay. So basically, this is the front panel. You have three switches, three bit binary number. You have one uh, numeric indicators to represent the decimal equivalent of this binary number. As you can see, the decimal equivalent of one, zero, zero is three. Uh, or sorry, zero, one, one. This is off and these two are on. Zero, one, one is three. Uh, so how are you gonna design this? Uh, now remember in, in the first few lectures I told you that you cannot combine different data types. So the data type of these switches are true and false, one and zero. And the data type of this decimal is um, floating point or integer or what we call double uh, floating point. So you cannot combine them directly. So how you are going to combine them? How are you going to take the output of this, put, a, you know, put some sort of functionality function in between before, of course, it is converted into the decimal and then the output is going to be displayed in the numeric indicator, you will need this thing, Boolean palette, Boolean to zero one, right? So what you're gonna do when you put the switch, when you put the switch, let me go ahead and show it to you. When you put the toggle switch, go right click and, uh, where is it? Uh, data operation. No, not the data operation. Um, let me go and check. Uh, Boolean palette. Right click on any switch in the block diagram. Oh, in the block diagram. Okay, so you're going to go to the block diagram. Sorry. And then right click on it. And then Boolean palette. And then you are going to use Boolean to zero one over here. So now what's gonna happen is you're gonna connect this to the input, and this block is going to convert the true and false data type into the regular decimal data type. So if, the, if, the, if it is true, then the output of this block is gonna be one decimal. If it is false, the output of this block will be zero decimal. So you're gonna use this with all three switches. And then you are going to basically put together the, the formula that you you know you you have to use to convert uh, the the binary output into the decimal equivalent. 
but remember to use this uh, before you do any other processing, basically. Okay. All right, so I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this. All right, let's go back. And the topic that we have to discuss in this video is comparison functions. Comparison functions are basically any function that is used to compare two quantities. Um, so those comparison function can be located in uh, express and arithmetic and comparison. So these are the comparison functions. So you have equal, if two numbers are equal, the output of the equal function is going to be true, otherwise it's going to be false. Not equal, greater, less, greater, or in all these functions, they are the comparison function. Then we have a select that is used in the uh, tutorial. So uh, we're going to look at the select function. Uh, one of the exercises is based on the select function, actually, that you have to do. So these are comparison function that takes the, each function as two inputs. And then um, whatever is the result of the input based on what block you're using. For example, if you're using greater block, then if the the top input is greater than the bottom input, then the output is going to be 1. Otherwise, output is going to be 0. And once again, if you're not uh, familiar with how the block is going to work, just make sure right click and check help of that block. And then it's going to show you basically how the block is going to work right here. And it's going to show you the data type as well. So x and y must be the same type. And the output is true or false. So input is double, output, output is binary. So these are comparison functions. Where do you use them? Many places. Uh, anytime you're using, and you're going to study those, anytime you're using a while loop, uh, you use comparison function to check if the while condition, if the loop condition is satisfied or not satisfied. Anytime you're comparing uh, two inputs, if one input is greater than the other, do this. If not, do that. You can use comparison uh, blocks. OK. Now, uh, let's see what this exercise is. So you have uh, an input x, and you want to display the result based on the location of the switch, orientation of the switch. So if the switch is off, you are going to calculate the uh, log of the switch to the base 10, so base 10 log of the switch. And if the switch is on, on top, then you have to calculate the natural log of x and then display the result. So how did I create this? If you look here in the block diagram, input is x, and then I'm putting x in the exponential natural log, and I'm putting in log to the base 10, right? these two. And these two blocks, they are present in, uh, let's go to express, arithmetic and comparison, and uh, oh, no. Math and exponential, I'm assuming. Exponential. So in exponential, you have the log to the base 10, uh, log, uh, to the base 10 and you have the natural log. Both are here. Okay? So those blocks are present over there. So I took x, I put it in both of the blocks, and then I use this select function. I showed you this select function is in uh, arithmetic and comparison and comparison block, which is this select function right here. So I chose this select function. I used this select function to select one of the function based on the position of the switch. So what select function does is observe it has three inputs and one output. The top input is connected to this block. The bottom input is connected to this block. Observe you have T, you have F. The bottom one is if the condition of the switch is false, the bottom one is going to be um, sent to the output. If the condition of the uh, switch or the input, the middle input is true, the top one is going to be sent to the output. And the condition is selected with anything that is producing a true and false condition. In this case, I'm just using a switch. So the middle point, the middle input is connected to a switch. When the switch is on, the condition is true, and the natural log value of x is going to be sent to the output. And when the switch is off, condition is going to become false, and the base 10 log value of x is going to be sent to the output. So this is one of the uh, functions in the comparison block, in the comparison library. 
Okay, exercise seven is one of the exercises that you have to do. Create a design to select one of the following function with a toggle switch and calculate its output for different input values. So you are doing basically this thing. You're doing this thing except instead of natural log and log to the base 10, you have to evaluate these two formulas and you have two inputs in this case, x and y, right? So you, instead of one input, you have two inputs and then you are going to evaluate f of x, y and you're going to evaluate g of x, y based on the condition of the toggle switch. So if the toggle switch is on, true, then the output should display f of x, y. If the switch is off, false, then the output should display g of x, y, right? So ex this is exactly the same as this, except you are changing the functions and you have two inputs instead of one input. So I hope you would understand this. Uh, other um, uh, comparison functions, as I showed you, there are a bunch of comparison function, greater, equal, and all those things. Uh, you can use those comparison function as well in different, uh, different control systems. For example, one of the examples is here that um, you have two inputs and uh, you have two functions, which are pretty much the same functions as these, but this is, make sure you don't create this program based on this. This is different. This exercise seven is based on this because you are using a switch. It says clearly use a toggle switch, okay? There is no toggle switch over here. So in this case, basically what uh, we are doing is whichever value is high, X or Y, whichever value is high, basically the function will be evaluated uh, if x is high, the function will be evaluated f x y, and if y is high, then the function will be evaluated g x y. And the result is going to be displayed, and the light is going to turn on for whichever uh, equation is used to determine the result based on which value is high. If x, x is high, f x y uh, will be uh, used to generate the result according to 2x plus 3y, and the light is going to turn on, the result will be displayed here. And if y is uh, large, greater than x, then g x y is going to be used to determine the result, and this light is going to turn on. This is the block diagram. Again, I'm using the um, select block over here, right? So I'm calculating uh, f x y, I'm calculating uh, g x y, and I'm using a greater function. If x is greater than y, that is true, then the top uh, value, the, the value that is calculated will be according to f x y, and if y is greater than x, that is, this result, this is going to produce uh, false, then the bottom is going to be calculated, right? Uh, now, the lights are going to turn on. Uh, I kind of did a little bit of cheating over here. Uh, ideally, you need to have, you need to use an, uh, a not gate over here. So, one of the lights will be on at, at one time not both the lights, because if you are using a not gate like you studied in uh, PE Spice, let's say, then if this is one, the out, this light is gonna be receiving one, this light, if you have a not gate, will be receiving a zero. So this will be off, this will be on. And if the output of the greater block is zero, then the top light is gonna be receiving a zero, the bottom light, when it will pass through the not function, is gonna become one, and this will turn on. Observe that I connected directly to both of them, right? And again, as I said, I did a little bit of cheating over here. As you can see, um, y is greater than x. The result that is calculated is according to gxy, and you can see the light gxy is on. And then x is greater than y. The result that is calculated is according to fxy, and this light is um, on, this is off. So what, what I said that I did a little bit of cheating is basically uh, both the lights are on at all time because um, irrespective, if you are getting, uh, or sorry, both lights will be either on or both lights will be either off simultaneously. So what I did is when both lights are on, I chose a lighter color, color for the top light and a darker color for the bottom light. So it appears that basically the, the bottom one is off and the top one is on. And when both are off, if the output of this greater block is zero, both lights are off, I chose a darker color for the top one and a lighter color for the bottom one. Now, if you're creating this block uh, practically, uh, or this, this basically control system practically, you are not going, <laughs> you cannot use, cheat the, you know, the system. Uh, this is just a simulation. But uh, in actuality, if you are creating this, basically you will have to use a not, not function in one of them, most likely at the bottom one, 
because bottom one has to turn on when the output of the block is zero. So when output of the block will be zero, this will be off, and the not at the bottom is going to make it one, and this light will turn on. So just, you know, this is what I did. All right, so this is the uh, just the discussion of, uh, you know, comparison block. You will be using comparison block again uh, with the while function, uh, and then I'll do an uh, exercise example of while function right now. It will be very uh, good for you if you do um, this exercise, this example. It's right in front of you. Of course, exercise 7 is based on this example. And then I will encourage you to do this example as well. And instead of connecting it directly, connect the NOT gate over here. Of course, uh, in lab view, we have not discussed NOT gate yet. We will discuss it soon. But you have you know NOT gate from lab view. And where exactly NOT gate is located? The, all the gates are located, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, let's see, Boolean. All the gates are located in Boolean, AND gate, OR gate, exclusive, OR NOT right here. Right? So use this NOT gate over here, and then run this program. And you can use the formula block. I mean, you don't have to use all of these things. You can simply use formula block, one formula for this, one formula for this. So you can use two formula blocks uh, and then cre recreate this system just for the practice. And it's going to be a very good um, you know, practice for you. Okay. 